Hello and welcome to Valgero. Well, the Halloween event is now finished, so I've done a dino wipe. Uh, the actual dinos, all the wild dinos, have uh, they've been respawning in. I mean, there's the odd one or two scattered around. I mean, I've flown out the area, come back again, uh, so I can see them start to to get spawned in over this area. Um, but uh, the, the real reason I want to do it is just so we can start getting ourselves some high-level wivens. I mean, uh, Ice Pop here, I mean, she's like a level 85, or at least that's, that's the uh, the egg that we got um, when we went up, actually up there. Uh, unfortunately, I picked a really bad time. I didn't realise that the actual um, the Ice Wivens would be taken away during the actual event, so there was like some Fire Wivens and some Zombie Fire Wivens uh, up there. So it just meant that when we got three eggs, that was it. There was just no more to be had. So hopefully we'll start to see quite a lot of those wivens uh, popping back up and then we can get ourselves some decent high level wivens. Or, well, we'll have to see. I do like Ice Pop, I must admit. But um, she's been really handy. I mean, she's managed to get us these uh, aloes down there and we, we do need to start breeding them. Um, I've got an S plus hatchery in that little hut uh, just below us, but that needs re-fertilizer to run. Uh, to make the re-fertilizer, we need fertilizer. And to be honest, I, I can't be bothered with the, with the actual compost bins because I've, I've got to keep remembering to actually get thatch uh, and put the thatch in. Uh, whereas, you know, get myself one of the S plus farmers, put that next to the greenhouse there. And then basically I, I can just get that to, to do, to automate that whole process of taking the, uh, the poop from the item collector and feeding that into a dung beetle. Uh, the dung beetle will produce your fertilizer. Your farmer gathers tons of sort of like fertilizer way more than the crop uh, plots can handle. So I end up with quite a big surplus of fertiliser that I can then use to, to make myself the re-fertiliser for the S plus hatchery. So yeah, that one missing element there, it's the, the dung beetles. Now I need to find some caves that have actually got dung beetles in them. Now there are a couple of caves um, that I'm aware of. There's the one that we saw uh, next to the Wyvern Trench. I mean that's looked like a really hot one there. Uh, so I wouldn't mind going back into there and having a look just out of curiosity to see if there's anything there of use. Um, there's also should be another cave up in the northern area. Uh, we'll see if we can find that and hopefully we might uh, see if we can find some dung beetles in there. But um, yeah, there's a few bits and bobs I need to gather before I head out. Uh, so I shall meet you at one of the caves. See you shortly. Well, the good news is... The Ice Wivens are back. The bad news is, the Ice Wivens are back. <laughs> I mean, we, we almost bought the farm. I was I was just perched up uh, up top there on that little edge, uh, having a look around to see if there was any sort of like Ice Wivens in the area. Next thing I know, uh, we took a hit from an Ice Wiven and uh, man, I really struggled to lose it. It's, uh, it's busy harassing the, the mammoths down there. So yeah, I mean, uh, the entrance to the cave is just literally over that uh, rim there where the ice crystals are. So uh, I need to get uh, this Pteranodon healed up first. Well, oh, having said that, I could swap you out. How about we swap you out, let you heal up on your own, and I'll take the other one. That might be a quicker strategy. You've got all the Fubar, you, you're the one with all the food, aren't you? Uh, right, you stay put since you can't really go anywhere at the moment. Oh, wow, you really took some knocks, didn't you? Right, we'll plunk you back down there. Uh, if you grab all of the raw meat, I'll take the load off the other one. Right, you can have all of that. You, you keep an eye on that, you heal up. Right, we'll give you... Uh, that takes a bit of the weight off you. Yeah, I mean that was a, it was really flying by the seat of your pants. That was. Uh, ooh, I suppose I could turn the guns back on. That could be tempting. <laughs> I wonder if I should do that. Let's turn the guns back. On. Tell you what, I'm gonna keep you out of the way. Uh, speaking of keeping you out of the way. I'm definitely keeping you out of the way as well. You you, you stay over there. Right, let's see if we can sneak uh, 
sneak our way into the hut. Um, if I can make a beeline into here, the guns will turn on. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. I feel safe now. The level 95 was taken out. And level 55 was taken out. And a level 50. Taking some other things out. Another 55 taken out. Oh, that's handy. Oh, and level 100. What else are we taking out? That was a 25 around there somewhere. I mean, the very selective. I deliberately. Ooh, a 150 mammoth. Ooh, cool. No, I, I deliberately have them set up to only take on ribbons. Right, let's go and get our pteranodon then. And I'll just leave those guns on, so if anything comes and hassles me, I can just drag them back to the guns, because I don't really need any, um, any wyvern milk or anything like that. I suppose you can have a bit of a nibble on these things. Did you get any, uh, talons? No, you didn't. How come you got sulphur off these? These are not fire-breathing. That's a bit weird. I would have thought we would have gotten, um... I didn't get any talents, but how come you're getting sulfur off these? Oh, it's that nasty blooming golem thing. Ah, now maybe we don't get talons off these things. Not that we actually need any, to be honest. Right, let's get rid of the prime. You don't need any prime. There's no point giving you that. She's not too heavy at the minute. Oh, what's that one? Oh, it's a female as well. Oh, that means that could mean there's a 185 egg. Oh, please be a 185 egg around here somewhere. Ooh, man, that could be cool. Right now, hopefully, we haven't got any women's coming in here. Right, I'm going to swap over the gear that I've got on. Grab some of that. And let's see what we can find around here. Like I say, hopefully there's no wyverns, but... Uh, are there any uh, dung beetles? In a cave full of lava? I'm not so sure. Can we see? Oh, hello. Oh, wow, I thought, I thought she'd fell off something there. <laughs> oh, man. I was starting to panic. Trouble is, I can't see anything. It's, it's that, um... It's kind of dark. It's light, but it's dark as well. Oh, no! Oh. Oh. I'm gonna hedge my bets there's fire weapons in here. Um, this might not be such a good idea. I'm wondering... I can't... I can't see for your blooming wings. Your wings are in the way. Hello. Well, I'm not seeing anything in here other than a bunch of weapons, but there's a... Uh, there's an artifact that we want as well. I don't want to chance it with a pteranodon. <laughs> um, I think I think we'll go in search of the other cave then. See if we can find uh, any dung beetles there. And then once we've got a decent uh, wyvern, I think I'll be I'll be feeling a lot more comfortable coming back into a cave like this one. Because I last time I was here, I only just like you know just came down here just to like try to get out the way of a wyvern. But, hmm, that could be tempting. Right, I guess we better go in search of this other cave then. See you shortly. Well, there's a clue. Uh, yeah, that, that in front of us looks kind of like a, a clue that that could be a cave. 
I mean, I must admit, last time I was around this area, there was a there was actually a a gigger around, and that was not pleasant. It's not here now. I mean, obviously we've done a dino wipe to be honest. But we're actually not that far from where I built that trap for the uh, from the arches. That should be up here somewhere. Yeah, there's our trap there. Surprised I didn't notice it before. Right, we need to get off you. We need to put you down somewhere safe. Uh, I think we'll uh, use somebody else to try and get into there. Right, you're going to plunk yourself down here. I don't think anyone's going to harass her. Nope. Well, I'll always do actually harass Wivens now that I think about it. Um, tell you what, we'll leave you over there then. Hmm. I mean, I want to put I want to put her uh, into a cryopod, but I've I've picked up all my stuff, and it'll be too heavy for a pteranodon. Ah! Ha ha ha! There we go. There's a lifesaver. See? It always pays to leave storage boxes lying around. Right, we'll put the fur in there. Uh, we won't be needing these or these. So we won't be needing these or these or these or these or that. This. Uh, we won't be needing that or these. We won't be needing that. Right, so, so we, we'll get the Tyrannodon back out. I mean, I brought the uh, a Thylacolio with me. I've got Fur Rug. And I've also got Brutus the Baryonyx as well. But we'll go in with the uh, with our pteranodon now. So that's I think that's Terra Two that I've got. Right, you jump into there. Oh, raptors! Raptors, not good. No, no, no! But can you land on the roof? For crying out loud! It's massive, man. How can you miss the roof? It's blatantly obvious. It's a roof. You're supposed to land on it. Right, you. You grab that. Right, let's go and have a bit of a wander over there then. Uh, I don't know how deep the cave is, or I don't know if it's uh, going to be one of those where we'll go in one end and just pop straight out the other, but it looked like a cave to me. And if it's a cave, we've got to have a look. Hopefully, we'll be able to find uh, some dung beetles, because that's what I want. I want dung beetles. Having said that, I mean, there's like, I think it's been a couple of caves so far that were empty. Ah, oh, now this is looking promising. Not in terms of actual dung beetles, but... The fact that it looks like a cave. Now that's bizarre, that, look at that. Big crystals, metal. Well, this is looking cool. Oh, I do like this place. This is well cool. So it's nicely lit, you know, because of all the um, the way they've like placed the lighting and what have you, all the mushrooms that you're getting and the crystals. That's good. There's no dung beetles. Oh man! In fact, there's nothing in this cave. Well, so far, could go horribly pear-shaped if there's bats. Like, I'm not seeing anything in here. Yes, it's looking a bit sparse. Hmm. We'll try the other direction then. See if we can find anything down that side. So we want to take a, a right here. Ooh. Ooh, this is looking a bit warm. Ooh, there's lava. Ooh, so there's... Ah, right. Tell you what, there's a loot crate over there. Oh, there's a loot. Oh, there's loot crates there as well. Oh, cool. So you can land down here. But, oh, see, it's no dung beetles. That was priority number one. Was loot. We were supposed to be looting. Um, well, we weren't supposed to be looting. We were supposed to be looking for dung beetles. Red loot crate. Seriously, I need that. Like, I need a hole in the head. What about the, the yellow one? Are you going to be something useful? Nah. 
again, not things I particularly need. I mean, are you going to be able to carry a, a Fiomia saddle? Probably just about. I mean, I suppose it'd probably been better if I brought the RG in. Ah. That looks like an artifact over there to me. Looks like one. It's looking like one. I, I'm not going to sort of like hold my breath and expect something wonderful here, but... No, oh, that's not bad. But as a poke in the eye. You're already getting weighed down, aren't you? Oh, blimey, that, that red loot crate's respawned already. That is freaky, man. Can you... Ooh, that was close. That was eerily close. It's respawned already. What the heck? I don't have an otter. We need an otter. Did you... Comprende? We need an otter. Well, this looks like an easy loot area. Uh, the only thing that bothers me is the, uh, the fact there's a load of lava around. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Now, is that going to respawn straight away, or is there some sort of looting order that we need to go through? Do you know about this? Because I don't. Do we have to loot all three of them, or do they just all spawn at the same time or something? Let's try the yellow one. Well, the red one's not back. Well, that's not bad. I could do with an angle old one. It's the artifact's back, but we don't have a an order. Ooh. Right, so let's try the blue one again. Uh, nope, don't need any of them. Is there anything down there? Is there any dung beetles down here? Yo, dung beetles, where are you? I need one. I need a dung beetle. Well, they've disappeared, but that's... Since there's nothing in this cave, that's an easy, yeah, uh, An easy loot area, because there's no... There's no... There's no creatures in here at all. Hmm. Dilemma for me though is where's the dung beetles? I need a dung beetle. Well, I need a, I need a couple of them really. Well, I guess I better go and search at dung beetles. Well, this could get interesting. Uh, if I want any dung beetles, apparently I've got to get them around here. I mean, I'm going to have a look around and see what. Because uh, I remember there was there were some mantis down there at one point. Quite possibly you could find uh, dung beetles there. I'm just curious what level these wivens are though. Because I know there was a one, I've seen a 150 floating about. There was a 185 that we saw, I don't know if it's still around. That's a lovely colour that mine. So if I could uh, clear some of these I might be a bit more comfortable going down there. <laughs> Uh, what level is that? 25. Ah, we can take it out. Come on. Yeah, I'm sure we can handle that. Although I've got to be a bit careful because I think there's a rock golem around here. Yeah, there was a rock golem getting harassed by one of these things not long ago. Oh, right, it's getting shot by the, by the cannons anyway. <laughs> oh, there's the rock golem down there. Oh well, I think we'll leave that one alone. Let's have a look then. Hello, there's a nest down here. Ooh, I'd really like that 185, I must admit. Ooh. I don't know if you're worth it, Ice Pop. I mean, an 85 throwing you away for a, a 185 would be tempting, but I don't know how I'd get the egg back anyway, because as soon as I pick it up, we're toast. 
What is that? Can we see it? Can you see it? Because I can't see diddly squat. Yes, we are going to leave bio waste lying around. Keep your opinions to yourself, thank you very much. Right, let's have a look down here then. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know I'm supposed to be looking for blooming dung beetles, but you know there was one. There's a 185 female was around here. Ooh, there's a one down there as well. Yeah, you, st you stay on passive. I don't want the... <gasps> oh. Right, we're after, we're, after, we're after dung beetles, aren't we? Ooh. I'm going to have to go and check to make sure there's enough uh, ammunition in those guns, I think. Right, let's have a bit of a nose around here. Because... These are caves as well. And technically you can find dung beetles in caves. They could actually be at the bottom of the trench, or they could be literally in that cave where we found the lava. Uh, they're supposedly around here somewhere. Because uh, this will take us back out again. I don't remember, I must admit, last time I was over here I don't remember seeing any. This is supposedly the only place where you can get them. Which is typical, I mean, it's uh, the most, uh, one of the hardest places to be is this blooming women trench. And they've decided they'll have dung beetles there. So we came up, hang on a minute, that can't be right. We should have come out at the bottom. I've completely lost the plot here. Let's go wandering down this one then. Come out, come out, little dung beetle. Where are you? Think of all the poop we can give you. Ah, unless I got turned around. Ooh! Arth Plura. That sounds familiar. Right, is there anything up here wants to chew my face off? <gasps> oh, it's a spider. Boring. Not interested in spiders. You want dung beetles? I guess I'm just gonna have to keep searching for dung beetles, but a ooh, a 185 women. Realistically, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to make sure there's enough am ammo in those guns before I go and pick that thing up. Right, so I think I'm gonna have a bit of a crawl around a bit more and see if we find ourselves a dung beetle first. It looks like there's another cave entrance over there, so let's get rid of this. Uh, Women, it's only level 55. Yeah, you can fly around as much as you like. I can't be bothered. Back up, will you, Ice Pop? How did you get a load of charcoal? Where did you get the charcoal from? Hang on a minute. Oh wow, you can collect charcoal from trees. That sounds handy. Uh, it's hot in here. And I haven't got... Oh, I didn't bring that stuff. Foobar. I left all my stuff in the, in the base. Ooh, mantis and all sorts. Shine a light. Hang on it. This could go well, or it could go bad. 
Not a lot of things want to eat a, a ribbon, I must admit. Shine a light. You've really annoyed a lot of things crawling along there. Oh, don't, don't say you actually yet, don't get annoyed them, because that other one's not annoyed. Um, I think we're going to have to do quite a bit of clearing here to get rid of this lot. Oh, I think we've... Oh, no. That wasn't the plan. I didn't I didn't plan on eating dung beetles. I, I plan on actually getting dung beetles. <laughs> That's not the plan. You're not supposed to eat the dung beetles. Right, let's get rid of these mantas first. Because the dung beetles are going to be slow to be fair. There's one. There's two of them. Oh, great. There's two of them. Come on, back up. Back up, Ice Pop. Right, let us move a bit further away. Come on, Ice Pop. Poppity Pop. Right, it looks as though those dung beetles have lost interest. Or oh, have they? No, they haven't. Well, I suppose you could pick one of them up. Yeah, we could always pick one up. Oh no! No no no! No no no! We used we, we used the wrong option. Man, you're trying to turn you around is not easy. Did you pick something up? No, we didn't want to blow an Arthur Plura man. That wasn't the plan. Dump that thing over there. Right. Out here somewhere is a dung beetle. Try picking up the dung beetle, will you? Right. Oh, did you dro only haven't dropped it? Right. So what level? What level is it, dude? Oh, I should say, dude. It. Seriously. You're trying to attack a wyvern? Are you crazy, dung beetle? Right. So we've got what we set out to get, which is a dung beetle. So what I can do basically drop this off somewhere. I mean the women's gonna well the women's gonna give me a lot of poop and I mean a lot of poop. So I don't really see a problem getting poop so we need to just drop this thing off somewhere out the way uh, and then we can tame it up. See you shortly. Well we've managed to drop it off here uh, and it's lost its aggro so it's not gonna bother me so I guess I'll try and tame this beastie up. Ooh 94% Oh, way to go there, Ice Pop. It's exactly what it needed. Right, so we'll have... It's probably overkill. I'll give it one of... Well, you know, got to put it to use, haven't you? Come on, come on. So hopefully that'll do it. And then we can go back and see if we can get another one. Because there was a few of them in there. So yeah, oh, and then I can basically I can just pop this into a cryopod and get it back to base. But 185, it's a 185 wyvern. Hurry up! We need to get a wyvern. Oh, well, that's okay. Then so one down. I think we'll just get one more. Uh, there's two level 50s just hanging around outside here now. So I'll try and grab one of them. I don't think it really matters which one we get. Right, so I'll take that back to my little mini base. Get this one tamed up. But then I want to make sure we've got plenty of ammo on those guns before we go and get that uh, 185 egg. See you shortly. Moment of truth then. Is this thing still here? Uh, I can't remember where it was, to be honest. <laughs> it's, a it's around here somewhere. I think it's is it that one or is it that one? I think this was a I think this was a low level one. If memory serves, which it doesn't. Pretty sure this was a, a lousy sixty or something. Yeah, you're a lousy sixty level one. Oh, 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 we've got, we've got company. And we're boxed in. 
I mean, we're only like level 120 versus... That's a 160. So if we can pull that over to the... Tell you what, let's pull it over to here. Rather, well, the guns are going to take it on anyway, to be honest. Yeah, you get yourself busy while the guns shoot you down. So that's a 160. Ooh, I wonder what annoyed that uh, got him. Right, let's try again then. Could be up there or it could be down here. I can never, I just can't remember. Um, come on, come on, come on. Park yourself. Right. Don't go anywhere crazy, right? It's level 45. What about over here? Of course, I'm making a big assumption that it's still here. If this is not here, I'm, I'm going to cry. Yes! Come on! Muff! Mush! Mush! Muff! Mush! 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 Get out of here! Quickly! I don't know if I'm going to attract any attention, like, but, uh... Oh, yes, we've attracted some attention. Right, so if I head in this direction, the guns will open up. But they might then also take interest in the... The mammoths. Well, we're actually outpacing them. That's why it's actually easier if you've actually got a wyvern. Once you get your first wyvern, it, it just gets easier. So that was only a level 50. trouble is it's the aggro range on these that's what's got me bothered I mean I might fly back to base see there's there's that one coming for us oh no it's going straight for the uh, straight for the mammoths anyway that's all I'm bothered about if I uh, if I head straight back to base I could end up with women's following me and she's or ice pop here she's only level 120 I know there's at least a one. There's a 185 out there, obviously, because we got this. Um, oh, so it's a 165 that got took down. Well, you may as well. You may as well have something to eat and enjoy our little uh, trip into the uh, the trench there. I think I might actually go back in again. Now, don't eat the mammoth. Please try not to. Because they come in extremely useful later on when the women start coming after us. Oh, there's one over there. Because I think I might clear those other two eggs out. Uh, hold on. Oh, you're, you're all stuffed, are you? I bet you've got too much food on, on you, have you? Come on, park, park yourself. Right, so you've got... Uh, oh, prime stroof. Don't think we'll be needing any of that. Uh, sulfur comes in handy. We'll dump all the rest of this meat because you don't need that. Right, so we've got a 185. So there was a. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. There was, uh, yeah, just a couple of lower level ones. So may as well go back in and have another look. Now, what's that one there? That's a 95 female. I mean, we could take that on. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Well, I really like the colour of that thing, mind. Yeah, I definitely like the colour of that. I wouldn't like that. Come on. Keep circling around. I'm going to eat you anyway. Just, just get on with it, you know. Mush, mush. But yeah, I want to clear out the rest of these eggs and see, uh... Because then hopefully we'll get some other ones as well. So, I guess we're going to be here a while clearing this lot out, so... See you in a while. Well, we've run out of bullets now. Um, <laughs> I've actually cleared the trench and I didn't get anything better than that 185, which, to be honest, is not that surprising. I mean, it's like, I found uh, six uh, nests within that trench, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, I mean, could really do with the uh, with some more uh, ammunition though for the uh, for the guns down there. Uh, the idea being we want to be able to clear that place out, drag, you know, the the actual wyverns across to here, then we can take them out. Or better yet, 
You could always just hatch this beastie up here. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I've been a bit busy, uh, so it's, it's actually taken a while there. Uh, because basically what I've been doing is I've, I've built myself a, a refrigerator up here. Because uh, this this area up here as well will be doing our breeding. So I thought I'd better put a refrigerator in here. Then we can keep all of the different items that dinos ask for uh, when they want imprinting. So I've actually gone out and I've managed to actually um, knock out a couple of female uh, wivens. So I've got a total of 10 milk. So that should be enough. Because um, most of the time what I'm finding with the wivens is they'll, they'll probably ask for like, like probably a cuddle. A lot of the times they ask for a walk or they'll ask for the actual milk instead. Uh, but I've got all the other bits and bobs that we might need. So I've been doing quite a bit of cooking to just to make sure I've got enough to cover all potential options here. So we shall hatch this thing out and let's see what we get. So that would have been really awkward if I'd actually consumed it. Right, so it's going to take about two, roughly four or five minutes. Well, yeah, just under five minutes. So I'm just going to uh, pause the video there. Uh, and we'll see what we get. Oh, oh, it's another purpley one. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, a female. What the heck? Hang on a minute. How can you want to go out for a walk with me already? That is just weird. It's only just been born already, wants to go for a walk. <laughs> I mean... I'll have to, I'll have to, I think I'm going to have to double check the server settings because that's a bit weird, that. I mean, the server settings are kind of like... The, the idea is I was trying to get it so that um, things like Rexus, for instance, only take about, I don't know, about half an hour to, uh, to fully mature, but... Um, are you are you coming or not? So this is what I don't like about things like Wivens. Um, uh, All the big dinos like this, the it just takes forever to like go for a walk, and then that because that takes so long to then imprint, it it means I never get like a hundred percent imprinting. Ah, that's true. So yeah, it wants to go for a walk for some strange reason, but it's yeah, I'm just surprised at that. I'll have to, I think I'll have to double check the yeah uh, the settings because oh there you go, so I've got nine percent, and it's on what. No, oh, that's a bit weird. Oh. This is just well weird. This. Oh. There's something seriously wrong with these server settings. I don't know what's going on here. That is just definitely weird. It was. It was. I. I deliberately set it up so that, as I say, it was. It was geared more towards um, some Rexes. Now it, I'd never, it never behaved like that when um, when Ice Pop was uh, getting bred, so I don't know what that's going on here. Want another cuddle? This is just bizarre. Right, so I'm we'll going to have to run around here now and get, um, get some women milk. Because it's... Usually what I tend to find is the... Um, the imprinting, so like, it kind of keeps pace with the, the level of maturity, but here, for some strange reason, the imprinting's way ahead. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. This is just very weird. It's asking for, like, imprinting almost immediately. And I haven't changed the server settings, you know, since, like, Ice Pop was, uh, was bred up. So what is it you wanted? You want to go for another walk? Oh, okay. So yeah, so anyway, I mean, as, like I say though, I mean, most of the time they tend to like just want to go for a walk, they'll, they'll want to go cuddle, or they'll want uh, wiven milk. But it's not very often I've, I've seen them ask for something else. Oh, you want to still go for another walk? Okay. Yeah, grief it's going to be like fully mature before it's even. Uh, so it's going to be like fully imprinted before it's it's anywhere near mature. It's only like juvenile at the moment. Come on.
Ah, we hate till Christmas. Because they're not exactly fast for like walking around, but I, I don't know why. I don't know why the imprinting is like that. Because that's the that's the one thing I hate when when I when I change the settings. I hate it when they actually do want that uh, to go for a walk because it just takes so long. And normally, what I find is like the imprint takes so long to do that by then you know uh, uh, the, the, the small window that I've got has already passed. Well, this is just definitely weird. Um, I think I'm just going to have to keep double... Well, I'm going to have to probably just keep running around the base with this thing. And then what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll have to check the server settings once we've finished. Because <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Whereas I say, it's, it's like it's imprinting almost immediately. It's it's so far ahead. There's, I'm sure I haven't changed the server settings. I mean, I've updated it. Yeah, because it's been updated because of the, um, you know, the the events finished. You still want to go for a walk? Man, I'm going to be worn out at this rate. Well, this is going to take a while, so <laughs> I think I'm just going to end up uh, basically running around the base. So I'll bring you back once it's actually fully matured. So there you go. This is Ice Shard. I mean, I must admit, she looks exactly the same as Ice Pop. Um, same colouring, except uh, obviously she's higher level. Uh, not surprisingly, she's 100% uh, she's imprinted. No, no idea what happened there. Because the server settings I've checked, and they're exactly the same as what I'm using on the island. Uh, and they were, all, they were all set up, basically, so I could get, like, Rexes matured in half an hour, get them 100% imprinted, because that's it's that sort of imprinting I'm more interested in when it comes to doing, like, the end boss fights. Um, I've double-checked, and the Wyvern and the Rex take just as long to mature. So watch what works for a, a Rex should work for a Wyvern. And I know I never had this weird behaviour going on when uh, I was breeding Ice Pop, so uh, honestly, I don't know what's going on. It's it's just really really strange. I've never seen the actual um, the actual cuddle interval so far ahead of the actual maturation period. It's um, yeah, a bit of an oddball. But hey, who am I to complain? I've ended up with a high level woman with a hundred percent imprinting. So woohoo! Um, better yet, I've ended up with some dung beetles as well, which is exactly what I was looking for. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because that will help me out a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content like this, then yes, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon, though, because then you get notifications when new content comes out. And if you've got any comments, got any suggestions, want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comment section below. Till next episode, thanks very much for watching. Bye!